Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, Frank here. I wanted to show you another little trick that I'm using while we're doing this remote teaching. Uh, this one here is how I can set up my digital camera to act as a webcam. Now, there is a hardware solution to this where I can get a small little dongle uh, called a CamLink. Fantastic device. Um, but the problem is right now, those are on back order and it's very hard to get a hold of one. So I thought to myself, well, wait a second. If, if I can use software to do remote shooting on my web camera or my digital camera, then there definitely must be a way of connecting up through software to make it act as a webcam. And I found that software. So you might ask, first of all, why would I want to use my digital camera as a web camera? Well, I have the integrated webcam as part of my laptop. The challenge with that is that this is my view. This is what I'm going to get no matter what. And if I want to show you an object, if I want to show you something, I either have to hold it up in front of the camera or I have to somehow move my laptop around and I've got cords and everything connected to it. So I thought to myself, OK, what if I want a multi-camera setup? Well, I can do that. So through this software, and I'll just show you now, I'm going to switch over to my digital camera. So I pop over to my digital camera. I currently have my digital camera pointing at uh, my Tintin rocket. And actually, if I just take some object and move it in front of there, you can see that that's just behind my desk here and, or behind my laptop here. So I can now use that as a webcam. And what I'm able to do is switch between both of those. So I can switch between my integrated webcam and that camera that's pointing to an object. Of course, that camera could be pointing at me and I can get a little bit better video off that camera. So I can get, for example, I can control things like the aperture on the camera. So some pretty cool things that I can do there. I'll show you the software now of how I set that up and I'll show some pictures of the physical connections that I created. It's simply one cable and the software that gives me that functionality. So the software I'm using to do the video capture is called SparkleCam. So I have my Canon camera. I have it connected up through a cord that I purchased, which is allows me to connect the camera to a USB hub. One of the things I did do is I got a bit of a longer cord, so I'm able to actually put my camera anywhere around my office and be able to connect back to my computer. It gives me a lot of flexibility in terms of distance between the camera and uh, myself. So in my case here, I've got the Canon camera. If I click on it, this is the software called SparkleCam. And if I click on the Canon camera, very easy to set up and install, you'll notice that my camera shows up. You can see that I've got the image here of what's happening with the camera. Once again, I'll just put some motion into it so you can see that that's actually a live feed camera. Right now it's pointing to a static environment so it looks like it could be a photo. Notice here I can actually go in and I can change the aperture. So I can actually change aperture, I can set up ISO speeds, I can choose what type of metering I want, what type of white balance I want. This is very handy for things like uh, changing the um, quality of the video. Uh, also very important because my integrated webcam doesn't give me quite as many of these features. So I can go in and mod modify focal points. Uh, I can also, one of the things I highly recommend is I put it onto face tracking if I'm going to be using that camera to videotape myself. Okay, uh, it also supports Nikon cameras. I don't have a Nikon, so I didn't uh, purchase the Nikon option. You can purchase Canon only, or you can purchase Nikon and so on. I can go in and switch over to my webcam, and this will come back to me. So this is the integrated webcam. You can see, for example, with the aperture, you get my full background because it sort of does the entire environment. Uh, with the F4, it'll blur the background a little bit. It'll give me a nice boku, uh, bokeh. I can never pronounce that right. Anyways, but I can go to, I can switch between my webcam and my Canon camera, and I can go between the two. So that's pretty handy. One of the things I can also do if I want is go picture in picture. So in this case here, I can go picture with the webcam and so now I have the integrated webcam and I'm showing the object here so I can talk about it. I do have the ability to record and take pictures of what I'm seeing here. Think of this software as a software that grabs everything and then I can use other software to push it out. So for example, I could go into my Microsoft Teams and I could actually then, this is my webcam, so I'll, I'll do that quickly. So I'll just open up Teams and overlay it here. So when I open up uh, my Microsoft Teams, I just have to go to the right area here. So in this case here, you'll see that I'm on a demonstration team and I just have to make sure I'm in the recording area. So 
bring this over a little bit. And so what I can do, ah, keeps wanting to give me a big window. So if I go in here, let's come up a little bit. Uh, if I go in here, I'll just start a new meeting. And when I start this meeting, what I can do here is say meet now. You'll notice that it's showing the information that's uh, uh, coming in from Sparkle Cam. Of course, if I go into my Sparkle Cam application, I can go ahead and modify, take off the webcam, for example, and go back to Microsoft Meetings. You notice that the integrated, it's a blank screen there. Um, go back to the software here, and I can say I don't want that in there. I don't want it as a blank image. I just want to go purely with the Canon camera. And you can see Canon to Canon take off the, um, I have to take this off one moment grab this here. So I put it in. Uh, I want to just go Canon. I want to take this guy and remove it. So you can actually put in multiple cameras if you want. Um, so it's kind of handy that way. You can also put some fun little effects in there. So for example, I can do a foreground image overlay and you know make it like I'm on some sort of retro TV or something along those lines and remove that. Uh, I won't go through all the features here, but you can see that it allows me to have a lot of control but most importantly, what it allows me to do is now use my DLSR as an integrated webcam and or as an not an integrated webcam as a webcam. And I can move that anywhere in my environment I want. I could do stand up lectures. I could point that to um, something that I'm working on. For example, if I'm doing a physical demo of how to use a tool or something. So it gives me a lot of options.